Eastern PA Weather Authority meteorologist Bobby Marchage here with your outlook for June 17th, 2015. Going to have a nice uh, sunny day and low humidity for change with the front now down to our south that came through yesterday. Uh, so we're going to have the humidity much lower. It's going to be much, much more comfortable today than it has been in recent days and cooler as well, about five degrees cooler, five or six degrees cooler than it has been over the last couple of days. Also, that's when, thanks to this high pressure that will very briefly move in for today to give us a nice day. But then all of this back here is in association with a warm front. This warm front is going to push through our area in this direction like this and it's going to bring us uh, it also a couple things. One, it's going to have a marine flow south uh, uh, southeast flow off the ocean here which will keep us in the clouds pretty much all of Thursday uh, but this bulk of precipitation will come through Wednesday night uh, generally after midnight for most locations here and moves a little bit forward here and uh, we'll get to uh, this is the first one this is right right around midnight here just some some uh, light shower activity coming in and that's going to go into the wee hours of the morning of Thursday. I do think this is going to be primarily a Thursday morning end time here. So this is not something that's going to go on the entire day. However, we still have the southeast uh, southeast flow here during the day. So we will be stuck in the clouds, the fog, and the drizzle. You can still have some very light uh, precipitation falling here, uh, especially uh, in the morning here on Thursday. And then in, as we get into the afternoon, you might uh, skies might become mostly cloudy. I don't think you get out of the clouds completely. It's not going to be one of those bright sunny afternoons or anything, but uh, we could get into some partial clearing, uh, maybe from cloudy to mostly cloudy. We call it a few peaks of sun in the afternoon possible. But if that southeastern flow, marine flow, continues, you'll be stuck in the clouds pretty much the entire day. Uh, in its entirety. So we'll be cooler with those clouds around. We're talking about mid 70s for highs on Thursday with those clouds uh, sticking around. Then we get into Friday, uh, very early in the morning Friday, and we're talking about uh, you know six, seven, eight o'clock in the morning. You're going to have a cold front come through. Now this cold front uh, might touch off a, a few showers. Uh, especially for our northern counties here. This cold front is going to press through rather quickly and it's going to set up the rest of Friday and Saturday to be very nice days as far as uh, temperatures and humidity are concerned. You see high pressure settling in behind the front here. So it will be a nice, uh, nice day both Friday and Saturday. Here's a look at Saturday with high pressure still in control. A little shoots off to our east here Saturday afternoon. And then we're going to be watching this disturbance right here. This is the the remnants of Tropical Storm Bill. Uh, of course, it's no longer have, having tropical characteristics at this point. This is just a an area of low pressure that has uh, has some locally heavy rainfall with it. So we're going to have to watch the evolution of this. The models are all over the place with this and where it goes. Uh, this particular model decided today to take this right across our coverage area here and bring us some heavy rain here Saturday night into Sunday morning. Uh, we're not sure if that's exactly how it's going to happen or if one's, this ends up going up farther to the north. And a couple different uh, scenarios we're going to look at here. Uh, take a look at the wide picture here. First of all, here is Tropical Storm uh, Bill down here that has made landfall already in Texas. This is going to go up into the plain states like this and presumably uh, is going to ride this ring of fire. Uh, called the Ring of Fire. We did a blog on this last night. You can find that actually in the bottom left hand uh uh, part of the page here below the video all the way down to the bottom of the page on the left here there's a blog that we did last night about the ring of fire what that is uh, high pressure sitting over situated over the southeastern United States creates a ridge everything must go around it this is called the ring of fire where you have all this convection around the outer periphery of the high so this uh, tropical storm or the remnants of the tropical storm will fall in the same pattern uh, with everything else moving around that high pressure so now it just depends on how strong this is and the position of this uh, uh, position of this ridge here and how strong it is whether it takes a, a path directly across our coverage area uh, so like we just saw here coming right across or is forced farther to the north and if you, there's uh, some models that have it getting sheared out over here in the plains but there's really mu not much to it and if it is sheared out, either we'll end up going north or south of our coverage area here. So we got to, have to wait and see. Uh, really, too much model disagreement right now because of the exact track of these remnants, and we really don't want to speculate on that. But either way, we do think uh, that if even if you don't get this system here uh, affecting directly Saturday night into Sunday, uh, later on Sunday we could get some scattered showers and thunderstorms. 
uh, that it will be along a cold front. So we'll just uh, we'll figure that out as we get a little bit closer. Because right now it's a, a lot of things up in the air, and it's too early to speculate until we have some more model agreement and agreeing with the models and their own ensembles. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martridge, and that is your outlook for June 17th, 2015. Have a great Wednesday.